And winter weather is not on everyone's mind. I don't know where you've been because, I mean, last night into this morning, it's already causing so much. Oh, my goodness. I mean, it took me 20 minutes alone just to get to work this morning. About the Jane. same. Yeah. So, if I were you, if you can try to stay home today, please stay do home. so. I know St. Joseph, um, the school district, stay closed. We have mm -hmm. a lot of closings on our KQ2 website. The time is 546. As you're beginning your Wednesday, if you do need to head out to work this morning, my advice to you, exercise extra caution because, as you can see, our KQ2 tower camera is showing those snow-covered roads. It is just not the best weather on this Wednesday morning. Right now we are waking up to 28 degrees in St. Joseph. Winds are calm and these are the latest snowfall reports that we have gotten so far this morning courtesy of the National Weather Service office in Kansas City. So far Hiawatha has come in with four inches of snow while here at the KQ2 studios and in downtown St. Joseph we've only got reports of three and a half inches of snow. Now this could change as we go into the rest of the morning hours so I will be updating these snowfall totals as we can Continue to get more coming in from the National Weather Service. Right now, visibilities are pretty low in St. Joseph. Right now, we're sitting at a mile and a half visibility, but it's not just the low visibility that I want you to be concerned about this morning. You saw it on our KQ2 tower camera. Roads are still very slick and snow covered out there, so road crews are out trying to clear up the roads, but still, you will need to exercise extra caution, slow down, give yourselves plenty of extra travel time. Now there is some good news. Our northern counties, the winter storm warning that was in effect has been discontinued. It's now been replaced with a winter weather advisory. This is in effect now for the entire KQ2 viewing area from now through 9 a.m. as our snow continues to move out, but we are still dealing with those hazardous road conditions through most of this morning, so keep that in mind. Now we are beginning to see the snow move out. Clouds are still sticking around on our KQ2 high resolution max satellite and radar, but we still have a little bit of some snow out to our west, and this is from the back edge of our strong area of low pressure that might give us still some chances of some snow for this morning. So we are not completely out of the woods just yet. So keep that in mind if you are heading out the door. Also bundle up good and give your cars time to warm up this morning and clear the snow off your windows. As right now we are sitting at 28 in St. Joseph, 26 in Mount City into Atchison, 29 in Kansas City, 28 degrees as well in Maysville and in Cameron. Now as we go throughout the day today for your Wednesday, heading into the afternoon, I am expecting conditions to improve as our system continues to exit the region. Temperatures today will still be below average in the lower 30s, but we will see a mix of sun and clouds heading into the afternoon. So let's go ahead and take a close look in your all-important KQ2 hour by hour forecast. Again, I am still expecting some pockets of some light snow as our system continues to move out later on this morning. Now heading into the lunchtime hour, I'm expecting the snow event to be over. We'll have cloudy skies. Temperatures will be going up into the lower 30s. By 6 o'clock this evening, we should start seeing a little bit of a break in the clouds and we'll see clear skies heading into the overnight hours. For your Thursday, we're finally going to see more sunshine and things are going to be improving a bit as our wind starts switching up to the south and our temperatures start warming back up to near and above average as we wrap up the work week and into the weekend as I'm seeing the return of the 40s but it's not going to last for long. We're tracking another system for the weekend, especially late Friday night into early Saturday. Good news is, since temperatures are going to be in the 40s, we are going to be seeing more of an all-rain event from the system, but we will see another chance of some light snow heading into our Monday. So again, the snow will be ending as we go into the rest of the morning hours with a mix of sun and clouds by this afternoon, a high of only 34 degrees. And in your all important KQ2 five to seven day forecast, we'll continue to track the chances for rain heading into Friday and into Saturday day. Sunday, at least Sunday, it's going to be pretty decent sunshine before our next chance for snow on Monday evening.